And there's a one scene that stood out to me, my favorite scene, when she's getting that manicure. Now, now he's getting the manicure, right? And then you come in and she gets cut and then you, you suck her fingers, like the blood. That was like shocking too, because now you kind of expose the reality of what's going on within this, this mansion, right? Like what's going on in here? And she's kind of thinking like, what the hell? That, that was a crazy scene. back to the up and adam show how's everyone doing we're i'm really excited today because i recently just went to go see the invitation and as you all know i mentioned in a previous video that i'd done nocturnal animals right vampires are my favorite i recently just saw an interview with a vampire like three months ago for like 10 times i love that movie and when i went to go see this movie one particular actress stood out to me and we're actually sitting with her today her name is stephanie corneliuson how's it going Hi, how are you? Yeah, great intro, eh? Not bad. That was not bad at all. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, my. Uh, thank you so much for coming on today. It's uh, it's a pleasure because, like I said, the movie was great. I love vampires, and your performance was incredible. You played such a villainous role, but it was played so well. You know when you, like, watch a movie and you go, like, well, I, I really hate I really hate her. Like, you know, she's such a, like, a bad person. That's how you know you play the role well, because yes. you know, <laughs> um, being in a horror movie, like, like what's the experience like on set? Like, what's like, is there a lot of crazy things going on with special effects and makeup? Like, what's the whole process like on a horror, f- horror film? It's so funny because um, my, my, my mother-in-law was asking me that. She was like, is it scary filming it? And you would, I mean, it's, it's. It's not at all, you know, and it actually it's um, it's ruined a little bit the the horror enjoyment for me because I see now, you know, generally going into doing films and stuff, it kind of takes the magic away, um, which is when it, it really is up to to great actors and great directors to if they can draw another person in the film industry back into a movie they're doing a real good job <laughs> let me Absolutely. say that yeah. um but yeah no the 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 general vibe of being in set you know it's not scary at all everything is a scene that you see in the movie is never shot in full we're shooting little bites of it like here and there right and it never starts from like the start of the scene to the end of the scene it's like because it's setups and cameras and technicalities and all that stuff mm. so it ends up feeling like work and then when you get to work with really great people, it ends up being really, really fun. Um, so all the scary elements and even if with the crazy like prosthetics and all of that stuff, yeah. it, it just it completely takes the horror element out of you or out of it. Um, but I will say watching the movie then when we saw it in the screen, I was jumped like the jump scares were so effective. Like, I oh, was yeah, scared. trust me. Yeah, that, that, I was going to say, like, it really hammered hammered in on me like when when the, those jump scares came out call me off guard seriously oh my god the, the the stuff that we did you know in the basement where she's like lighting the the, the girl sardia and, and and um imogen are down in the basement and they're like trying to find that particular bottle of wine it's one of the scenes and yeah I'm, like messing around with them down there that, that turned out so effective i was freaking out like it was yeah. like this is scary <laughs> Yeah. And I can only imagine too, because like, again, like since it wasn't scary filming it and being on set, I can only imagine you guys probably had a lot of fun, like a lot of jokes probably on the set, like even dressing up with like the, the fangs, just talking to one another, like in between takes, like it must've just been like, like, like the camaraderie on set with everybody. Oh, it was great. The producer of the movie, he was laughing. We, we got the, the fangs in. Um, I was talking to somebody on Instagram about the fangs. The fangs were fun. Um, the fangs kept falling out. So at one point, the the special effects uh, uh, director, um, Ivan, he decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use polygrip for like, you know, like dentures. Yeah. We're going to use polygrip. That'll stick him. That stuck him in there. That was crazy. We were lit. They were stuck, stuck. One, one day when we wrapped, it took me like 30 minutes to get out of them. I was like soaking them in tea. Like <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was crazy, but it, they were so hard to speak with when we initially got them in Yeah. and we were going straight into the big scene um, where the rehearsal dinner scene. Yeah. 
And, you know, Thomas has that long monologue that really like kind of like reveals what's going on in the movie. Yeah, I'm, can I be honest? That really caught me from surprise, eh? He's just, yeah, it was because, it because was, you 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 would think like like in a way it was like obvious that he was gonna be the bad guy and stuff. But I was like in my head, wait, there has to be like a twist. Like there's no way, right? And then when he revealed it, for some reason, it still was like like jaw dropping. It was like what? Like also because he's just so bad. Like he's so nasty. And such a great actor. Such yeah, a nasty yeah, 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 the character though. Yeah, um, yeah. But and he was talking with those fangs, and we were all just lisping. So that the the producer, he was funny. He sent us home with homework, so we had to keep <laughs> the fangs in for a whole day and learn to like speak with them and then obviously it all worked out and well, um yeah. thomas mastered it in a minute but it was like it was it was a process <laughs> you know it's funny actually if i was see, if i was in that movie i wouldn't need any of those prosthetics with the teeth because i actually have natural fang oh, my oh God. you do yeah at least, at least if you can see it you i can totally see it you would fit right in there you go i have yeah. sort of look at that see you didn't need the prosthetics so, after all sort of <laughs> sort of the likes of, of a vampire tooth exactly. um, but they were so well done the teeth they were they were really cool yeah and what about this movie did you like that that you particularly liked obviously overall it was a great movie but is there a particular part or scene or even just a memory that you have on set that was your personal favorite because i'll be honest with you like i haven't seen a good vampire movie in a while and i'm really i really don't want to see morbius after all the stuff i've been hearing <laughs> like i don't know why i just been hearing so much so many weird things but i love vampires and i love like this movie was like how do i explain it it was like old fashioned because of like the way the where it was shot the location and again vampires live for hundreds of years right so even the way like your character thomas character alana's character the way you guys all spoke it was so um like, like a renaissance type right like the way yeah shot, everything was so unique so what was your favorite part? Uh, I think, I mean, there's many aspects to it, right? There's the, there's definitely like the camaraderie that, be, that becomes, you know, real behind the scenes. It's like I, with, I've been very lucky to work on, on really many great things, but this, this cast in particular has been the most fun. And it, maybe it was because we were all overseas, you know, and um, it was obviously shot during COVID. So we were very careful. We couldn't really go out. So we were kind of like, we were all like kind of, you know, bunched in together, yeah. but, um, you know, getting, getting to become friends and really like getting become developing genuine friendships with, with the cast and the crew is, was, I think a really special part of it. I've not had, I mean, it's been fun everywhere, but like yeah. really developing deep, deep friendships with these people. I mean, we talked like literally Alana FaceTimed me five minutes ago and I was supposed to call her back. So, oh my um, yeah, so we, that part of it, um, getting to be a vampire was really cool. It's definitely something I've always wanted. There was like a teenage, a teenage actor dream in me wanting to be a vampire. So I think awesome. it's so cool. I, I, um, I thought it was a pretty obvious choice for a vampire. <laughs> Um, I totally agree. <laughs> in my opinion, thank you. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, no, it was just, a, it was a really great experience. And then getting to tell, you know, a modern um, vampire story. I thought that 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 Jessica Thompson's uh, way of telling this story was so different and, and so new and, and, and not a vampire movie we've seen before necessarily. Yeah. And did you grow up watching a lot of horror movies? Do you have a particular horror movie that you like or? I have watched i'm such a movie nerd like i movie and television i've watched pretty much everything there is there are different genres of horror that i like there's like the the total old school like um happy comedy horror fun which is called high spirits which is like a, a funny american comedy uh horror comedy with like people coming to this hotel and their spirits and then there's like the really sticks with you forever kind of raunchy horror. It's this French um, horror movie called um, Martyrs, Martyrs, Mathieu. Okay. Oh my God, that really messes with you. Um, and then there's a lot of the commercial horror stuff that I think is fantastic. I mean, um, like the Babadook, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> No, but even like, for example, like Psycho, I've seen Psycho recently. Oh yeah, Psycho, but that's in the thriller genre. Then we're like, but, really but, but for me, I'm, 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 I get scared easily. So for me, that I still consider that a really scary movie. But even yeah. like, like the slashers, this, even like, um, 
like like Ari Aster did like you know the, like Hereditary. Hereditary is a great movie too. That's like I mean Midsummer is so great too. Oh no no please see that movie. I can't watch. Like I've already it's watched so it. So good. I know, but it's like it's so, it's so disturbing. That's I know. The problem. So that's why like I I love the way it was filmed, but I hated it because of that reason. It was like I can't I can't watch it without feeling eerie. You know. Yeah. Like, that's, no, movie, it really it it really gets to you. And I mean that's an effect, but that's an effect of horror movie right that's what they're supposed to do yeah of course and like knowing that you love all these horror movies and stuff have you taken any inspiration from these other horror villains and kind of put it to put it towards uh, victoria in this movie oh no i mean victoria was very um jessica thompson had a very clear vision of how she wanted victoria so there was um there was me getting to do what I do, getting to bring what I bring as an actor, but it was, there was, there was, she had a very clear vision of what she wanted. Mm -hmm. So, so sometimes you have the opportunity to draw a lot of like, you have creative freedom and you can draw inspiration from other things. And sometimes you, you know, there's, it's about the teamwork and about telling the story uh, effectively and fulfilling a vision. Well, I think that that in in a way though, that actually works better and, and, and it works towards your advantage because now people won't look at your character and be like, oh, she's like this, she's like that. They're looking at it like this is like something we haven't seen. This this, per, like, this character is so like again, like Victoria. Like, she was, strong. you know, she was pure evil. There was a lot of like when yeah. I was trying when we were working on her and I was trying to give because she's very malicious and she just really goes for it. And and obviously there's the supernatural element that she's a vampire, so she gets to be that way. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was trying to give her all this like tragic backstory, you know, like the husband, you know, was killed and maybe she had like, like, like t- terrible things. And then I was like, no, you know what? Mm. I think sometimes people are just bad people. Yeah. You That's know, a- there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk about how we, what we all go through and mental health and hurt people, hurt people. And there's, it has to be rhyme or reason for anything, but sometimes there are just bad people who are bad people. And I feel like we see that a lot. And with today's privileges, you know what I mean? Like Absolutely. I totally there are some people who've had everything and who've had a great upbringing and, oh, and they still choose to um, take a less empathetic route towards fitting into society than others. Absolutely. That was very deep, but I really love that, honestly. But it, it's so it's so true, though. Absolutely. And and that's why I think sometimes like for characters, they don't necessarily need to. Um, what's it called? Like, we don't have to really necessarily feel empathy for some of these characters like Victoria, especially like it's like you mentioned, she's manipulative, like she's menacing, she's rude, but she's also very strong willed. Like when I watched you on screen, it's like I, I felt like. How to explain it? Like I, I couldn't mess with you. It's like no, because like she's like you had a sense of power, right? She, it's definitely. I mean, I took a lot from personal experience of of, of like, she, I mean, she's a in psycho in psychological term, she's a grandiose narcissist, you know. Yes. Yeah. Um. So that portrayal of like power and you can't touch me and all that stuff it, it really is just like a mask for insecurity I mean yes. she is so scared of being replaced she is so scared of like that toxic relationship between her and Walter she's so scared of losing that dynamic is she's scared of him meeting someone who actually gets him you know like all these things in her own twisted mind and she's scared of losing control of Lucy because that is really probably besides herself the only other being in this world that she really loves yeah there's a scene it's good that you brought that up there's a scene when you were talking to walter right and and it was it was when um uh, uh natalie emmanuel's character comes in right and she's like all dressed up in her dress and stuff like that and it's when they had that dance oh uh, the the whole costume design everything was immaculate i i honestly truly like felt everything was my opinion like so perfect and when she came in and they were dancing the scene when you were talking to walter right and you're like you could tell you're jealous and again it is a mask for insecurity but the character still you still don't feel empathy for her because she's still coming off like rude and like such a mean person right and there's a one scene that is set out to me my favorite scene when she's getting that manicure now now he's getting the manicure right and then you come in and she gets cut and then you you suck her finger it's like the blood that was like shocked me too, because now you kind of expose the reality of what's going on within this, this mansion, right? Like what's going on in here. And she's kind of thinking like, what the hell just happened here? So that was my favorite scene, I think. 
Yeah, that, I mean, and that, 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 that scene has so many layers to it on so many different, within so many different ideologies and, and isms. Um, but yeah, that is a very, I mean, that is such a disrespectful thing to do. I cannot imagine how I would react if somebody came up and sucked my finger. And especially for, for in, in Nat's character, I mean, it's, it's that, that was a crazy scene. It's so funny. It's sometimes the scenes that aren't obviously scary or disturbing that, that kind of, that, that really gets, that gets you, that sticks with you. Yeah. Yeah. I know because it's, you wouldn't expect it really. It's just like, wait, wait, did that just really happen? Like you're kind of processing it still. Thank you.